Hey guys, Rob Anderson, Clean Power Wash Salisbury, Maryland. Been having some issues with the starter. Um, first thing to always check is to make sure that actually you're, you know, you got your good grounding, everything there. Um, the thing that I, it's not an actual electric issue because we can actually pull start it just fine. See this thing is getting bash with a little bit of bleach from time to time. Um, what I've actually figured out is that this replacement piece. Uh, green product, uh, a little solenoid, is what actually needs to be replaced because when you look back here, it might be hard to tell, but that whole, the actual terminal itself, or the um, bolt that it's connected to, and this is also pretty rusted, but this should not be turning, and for the 20 bucks, it's worth it to go ahead and just swap that out, got the piece at Napa, uh, but I'm going to just take that apart. Uh, replace that old one and put the new one in. This unit's about two years old. Uh, I guess two and a half, really. So, a couple pieces need to be spruced up. Uh, been doing regular maintenance, but it's time to replace that. So, let me get that out of here. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Just going to take these two pieces off. Um, also, before doing this, I'm going to take the uh, wires off the actual battery so there's no current going through that. And I'll do it after video. All right, so as always with pressure washing stuff, it's not always as easy as first glance. Uh, in order to take this off, one, obviously disconnect the uh, wires. This was also a, um, a blade um, line that's right there, that white one. Um, you can take off both parts, uh, basically from the starter to the or solenoid and everything there. Um, here's the new one. The other thing that had this attached was actually this hose clamp, which goes around on there. I'll, I'll end up cleaning that off, but um, and then this is going to run through. On this one, it ran through these two spots. Um, do the same thing, go through there and inside there, uh, and this should be to go. Um, you know, if, if you're not getting bleach on it which there's the bleach tank yeah it's not surprising and also there's the roof pump so yeah this is going to get some abuse um, and it has um, but that's a pretty cheap replacement piece and uh, it should be able to fire right up once I get that swapped out so I'm going to post the other part because again this is just going to go back down there not super exciting again um, there was also uh, one really long Oh, and this piece, which is also corroded, but that's what basically held it in place so it didn't slide burn down the, um, around the uh, drum that's down there. So, a second, we'll end up putting all these videos together to make one big video, but I'm going to pause it again. So, here we go. I didn't pull the choke, and it's late at night, so I don't want to really start it off, but it had not started for probably about a month. And that is uh, music to my ears. So, anyways, hope that helps, guys. If you're having some starter issues and you've already checked to make sure you have good ground, that your battery's charged. Um, and also, certainly, obviously, if you can't manually start it, uh, then you might have some spark issues or all kinds of other things. But work your way around and you can figure out, kind of isolate what you've got, what's going wrong. So, anyways, uh, Rob Anderson, Clean Power Wash.